All right, so here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? Fight? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever <laughs> felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to this spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. While self-belief is a powerful thing, he has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it. can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times loosely in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Roman Dolisan! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Herb Dean, our referee for this Red. one. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. Lee's kick blocked. That left hook was crazy. Lands to the body there. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Body shot. Oh, nice jab. I mean, right away, no feeling out process. These boys just went and started fighting. Oh, uppercut to the head. This guy cannot miss the head. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the mat. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. Right hand counter. Back and forth we go. Oh, 
finish him with the straight. Nice job there by Delinson. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, big left hand there. Lindsay gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Back kick there. Oh, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing was how he could drive kick after kick into his opponent. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Just over two minutes now to go. Big power shot there. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting them over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? Lunges forward with a left there. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Big inside kicks. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not... One guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Straight left counter finds its home. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Both guys appeared to land there. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice takedown defense. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Counters with a straight left. 20 seconds now remain in the round. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Final seconds here. There's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, round two. All right, here we go. Our next round is underway. The narrative in the previous round, swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. It's like a pitcher striking out 10 batters because over and over he would throw and the target was gone the moment he threw his punch. Great eyes by the defensive fighter, but he's just throwing the throw, trying to win by just being active. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Big shot to the head. Oh, back and forth we go. Oh, 
Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Roman Delidze. Nice shot there by the champs. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Lee. He looks like Pac-Man. He's taking so many strikes to the head. The Lindsay gets touched by that kick there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Just over three minutes now to go. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Oh, wow. How about the roundhouse kick? Checks the leg kick. Let's go. Keep moving forward now. Oh, big overhand counter to the head. Again, making use of that decided edge and reach. Good punch, Land. Unable to connect with the right. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Now goes to the uppercut. Two minutes now to go in round two. Oh, nice hook there by Roman Delidze. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Well, you saw us reference in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. That was a big check. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. Can't take too many more of those. Back and forth we go. Oh, lands another shot to the body. Beautifully put. Oh, flying knee right to the melt. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Just out of range with that kick attempt. The Lidze's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. with that jab attempt. So there it is, DC, the fighter with the longer reach, able to counter flush with a straight punch. Well, he's always working off of that jab. Nice jab there by Lee. Two rounds in the books. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, it's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now, he's just targeting that cut on the nose. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're gonna lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, great block there. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to need him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Right hook to the head block. Oh, both new elbows there. Oh, he continues to attack the body yet again here, just as he did in the previous round. Punch over top. Awesome level change. Great timing. The lead has got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he... He's hurt again! Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Just misses with the jab there. He's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Delize is blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already significantly damaged nose. 90 seconds to go. Lands a nice straight. Misses with the left hook. Sidekick lands for him there, champ. A lot of times that is used to man a space. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following the game plan, and it's working. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship round.
So there's the horn at the end of the round. Maybe a 10-8, maybe even a 10-7. He stunned his opponent multiple times in that round. Huge round from Lee. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot. Because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight. Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Let's go, let's get those hands going now. All right, so that calf really starting to show signs of bruising. He's got to address it now. He's got to start to check these kicks. Beautiful straight punch there by Lee. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here so he can engage and really spring it there with a couple big strikes. Uppercut to the head. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Push kick there to the body. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Pretty good head kick there. Under three minutes to go in round four. Nice straight there by Delidze. Nice punch to the head. Another punch to the head. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. Oh. oh, this could just about do it. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Huge spinning kick. Oh, man, that leg's all beat up. Nicely timed kick to the body for the champion. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Throws the teeth now, and it lands. So he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thigh. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed it effectively. Try to establish that jab. That one snuck in. Nice strike. being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Head kick there blocked by Delidze. You know, a lot of people say those don't land, but even if you block them a little bit, they still put damage on you. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the more... Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Solid kicks 
for landing. He has most certainly found the range on the feet. Just misses with the right. Heavy body kick lands. Delizze's eye now closing up. Ten seconds to go in the round. Right. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, there's the horn. How about that round? He got him badly there early on. You thought that maybe that was going to be the beginning of the end. At the very least here, got to think he's going to try to get him out of here in this next round. J.A., he's on skates. I yes. mean, he was on skates. His ability to withstand that avalanche is commendable, but he has to change something as he approaches the next round. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a Great. good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Good job by the defense to prevent that shot from getting through. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Let's go. Light kick lands. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Oh, nice. Keep the pressure on. Everything's landing. He was breathing pretty heavy. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, he counters with a beautiful jab to the head. We told you off the top he's got a decided advantage in reach, and he put it to good use. That was a nice combination there. There's another strike to the body. That has been a big storyline in this fight. We'll keep an eye on it. And oh! 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 oh, massive diving punch, flush to the head. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. With that, we now go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 43 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Mixed martial arts royalty, folks. Bruce Lee, lighten up your living room tonight and giving this capacity crowd a whole lot to